Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic audio and video related products. Now today I'm taking a quick look at an accessory for your mobile phone if you're into photography, particularly photography, well it's only useful if you're into photography, and it is the shift cam snap grip. Now I think I've taken a brief look at this in the past, but I use this on a regular basis with my iPhone 15 Pro. There's my iPhone 15 Pro and this is the uh, snap grip that I use on a regular basis. And the reason why I use it, there's nothing worse than trying to take a photograph of a mobile phone and you're trying to hold it up like, well, how do you hold it? Which way around, how do you hold it? Um, you get your fingers in the way of a lens. Uh, it's actually that way around. Uh, there's no real proper shutter button on the actual uh, phone. Um, it's a real, it's, it's just a slab. It was a real pain for taking photographs with. The biggest advantage though, with a mobile phone, obviously we all know this, I don't need to repeat this, but I'm gonna anyway, is the fact it's with you all the time and it's got a really nice big screen uh, on the phone to be able to see what you're taking a photograph of. Although saying that, if you're doing low angle photographs or high angle photographs, it doesn't turn like it would do if you had, you know, a mirrorless camera. You could actually twist the screen uh, to the angle that suits you best. With this, you have to get on your hands and knees, really, if you want to get a low angle shot. But, you know, nothing's perfect, is it? Um, but what I love about the snap grip is two features this snap grip has. Uh, one, it has a Bluetooth shutter remote on the top. So there's a shutter trigger on the top there, Bluetooth uh, remote, and a built-in battery in this unit uh, to charge the phone up. Because the iPhone is prone for running low on battery really, really quickly. And when you're out taking photographs or even video, you don't want the battery running out on you. This is great because it's really, really clean. See how compact it is? There's just nothing to it whatsoever. Um, and the fact that it's got a built-in battery, that helps retain the power within the phone. And it gives you a proper camera-like feel when you're taking photographs. And I really like that. So all you do to connect it is really simple. It's magnetic mount, a really strong magnetic mount. And then when you connect it, that will start charging the phone if you've got it turned on for charging. So um, what we'll do now, I'm doing this back to front, never so easy back to front. So all you do, you just plonk it on there like so. And then that will now um, connect to the phone. That will now charge the phone. And you've got yourself a Bluetooth connection as well for taking photographs. It's really strong and sturdy. That ain't going to fall off. That is really good. So let's now go into the camera app. Uh, let's go into the camera app. Now, the other reason why I like using the iPhone, the actual photographs, if you're using the uh, standard lens, the 24 megapixel lens, then you get great images. It goes up to 48 megapixel file size. Uh, they're raw as well, so you can edit them. I'm just going to flick through a few here. They are really, really nice quality images. Even though it is a piddly little sensor on the phone, uh, you get really great images with the iPhone. That's why I'd like to take it with me. Because what I would generally use the iPhone for is the wider angle sort of images. I won't use the telephoto lens. I'd rather take my mirrorless camera, usually my Nikon Z50, or uh, certainly my Fujifilm XS20, or my, or my Sony camera for taking the longer shot uh, images. I would use this purely for family photographs, wide angle photographs, uh, and as I say, because it's got a built-in grip and a battery charger, um, it works brilliantly. Bluetooth trigger is on the top there. And then as I, as we turn it around this way, you might be able to see it better. So awkward when you're doing it back to front. Uh, do it like that and then that will take the photograph. You can see there that's taken the photograph. Then we can view that back just by doing that. And there you have a photograph that I've just taken. Um, to be able to view, upload to your uh, Instagram pages, whatever you want to upload it to. And so the photographs that come off the iPhone is uh, are great, certainly the iPhone 15 Pro. So it's well worth getting uh, this grip because it just makes it so much easier to walk around like this. And as I say, it's really strong. That isn't going to fall off easily. I mean, you have to force it off for it to come apart, um, but that fits on there quite nicely. And as I say, the fact that it charges it as well, I think is a, you know, a great, great feature. You can see on the side there, the little LEDs light up to show the battery strength and the Bluetooth connection on the side there. So that is, um, that is handy. So you know how much battery is left actually in the unit. Um, but as I say, the iPhone 15 Pro, 
great, great photographs. If you're using the higher pixel count uh, and you're shooting at the uh, full resolution, you can get some great images that you can use, um, you can print up, you can edit with because it shoots raw. So, you know, it's well worth taking the iPhone 15 Pro um, or any of the iPhones, but particularly the 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max, um, you know, nicely, nice sharp images. Um, and what I like about the iPhone, uh, the iPhone 15 Pro, they don't actually look digital. Now they do, I have to confess that they do look slightly over sharpened when they come out the camera. So what I tend to do is uh, go into Lightroom and just reduce the sharpness a little bit. Don't have to reduce it a great deal, but just lower the sharpness a little bit. And then you get some really, really nice images. And as I say, keeping that in my camera bag, along with one of my other cameras, or even two other cameras, but one other camera, I've got my wide angle camera, which is the iPhone 15 Pro, and I've got my um, you know, main camera. And as I say, and as this charges it as well, it's also charging the phone if you do need to use the phone. This particular phone, the iPhone 15 Pro for me, is predominantly my um, camera phone, camera phone for video and for photography. Also, it works with a case on. This has got a case on, quite a, a solid case is on this particular iPhone, and this will charge through that case and still magnetically connect to it without any problem whatsoever. You can see that actually, you didn't see, there you go. Uh, did you see that? No, you didn't see that. Um, let's put that back on again, see if we can show it charging. And there we go, showing, the, uh, showing that it's charging. So uh, that goes to show, just show you that it does work. It has got the battery in the actual unit and that'll keep that charged for quite a long period of time. Certainly long enough for while you're out taking photographs. So if you charge the phone up at home before you go out, then use this uh, snap grip adapter, making sure that is fully charged before you go out, then that's definitely gonna last you all day. So there we go. That's a brief look of the snap grip adapter. The iPhone images will be up on my Flickr page. If you do want to take a look at them uh, up on Flickr, uh, please do so. I leave a link in the description below where you can see them. And I leave an affiliate link where you can buy the, uh, the uh, shift cam snap grip from. They do it in all various colors. I've got it in uh, sort of a blue color. Uh, they do it in all sorts of various colors. But uh, take a look at them on Amazon, about 69 quid, 70 quid here in the UK. So very, very well worth getting. That's a really good value price for something that has a battery and a Bluetooth remote as well. So I think that is, you know, exceptional. So there we go. That's the Shift Cam Snap Grip. I say affiliate links will be in the description of this video. Hope you did like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button if you like the content of this video. would really, really appreciate that. It does help me grow the channel. Thanks very much. Cheers for now. Bye.